Okay, so what we're trying to achieve is just to be able to run some games from one screen. So now we're going to be using the HD screen to run Amiga games and to show that um, apart from the AGA games, which are inherently difficult, maybe because of this emulator is quite old, the original chipset ones uh, seem to run at full speed with sound and um, a good example of this one here is going to be, I'll just copy this command across because it's easy for me to copy this, I don't need to co copy much of it because Not sure I'm going to keep this because it's always wrong. We'll put it in a second. Um, this uh, Control Alt and Q, quit it usually. There you go. Sometimes you need to time it right. So, I Got most of these commands already set up in the config file. But I'm going to keep this one here. It sets the sound. The kickstart's already set, and um, going to rip this one here. And this is actually sets the chipset to AGA, which you don't particularly need, but doesn't matter. It seems to be the game itself, um, and we don't need this, the joysticks have been set, um, that's the issue here, um, 22500, I think that, that's the buffer, it says 8 bit, and that sounds okay. And Bang, it should go here. And I'm just going to press um, exit this so it just opens the window for us. And now, once we're in the window, the mouse is sort of captured. And I press Control Alt and F1. And I'm going to go and find the game which I wanted to try out, which was. Silkworm and hopefully the joystick set up correctly this time. So, okay. You realize it starts loading at the bottom of the screen there? stage I'm only running uh, one frame skip and like we're seeing here running in a window it sometimes slows things down because it's doing a whole lot of other stuff as well so back in here let's get down to start hopefully the joystick works as well yeah it looks it does so yeah make up your own minds uh, but this for me is playing games from the workbench and on one screen with sound and acceptable frame rates and again this software is quite old never designed for the Pi Storm so the optimizations 
can probably be unimaginable. Let's say the first person that takes on the project would actually um, succeed in a matter of days in getting this thing running much faster than what it is at the moment. Okay, so you see the frame rate. Even on the 500, you uh, get some issues. Yeah, the sound's great. second. Let's swap discs while we can. Um, Aladdin, we can do that probably at a later date. Um, what's a good one? Pinball Fantasy ATA. One or two. No, we've only got those. Oh, you've got one, two and two or two. So, so we're on with this one. Control, Alt, Reset. R for Reset. You can see a little, see we've got the code in the background there as well. Here you go. Uh, what's it going to ask me to do? Mm -hmm. Still loading from the disk. <coughs> yep. Running out of time. My camera only does eight minutes at 4K, so it's a pretty good time. Well, Three billion dollar game show. Why not? Three. Oh, so click on this one. Oh, we'll just do um. Let's swap discs. Speed doubles. How about that? So it's faster. I might pause it while it loads. Okay. So there you have. Um, a few seconds of gaming, and it's running pretty fast actually, this is quite impressive. Yeah, there's something that's good has happened here. Oh. So this is really playable now, I wasn't playable last time I tried, I don't know what I've done, but clicked a few boxes, ticked a few things, and it's 